Hello viewers, welcome to the next section of this course, Administering of an Odoo Installation. Topics we will cover in this section include Basic considerations for an Odoo administration Administering users in Odoo Understanding groups in Odoo Internationalization in Odoo International currencies Multiple companies in Odoo Now let's move to the first video of section 2 Basic considerations for an Odoo administration in this video we will learn about developing staging and production servers, focusing on business continuity, backing up your Odoo databases. Successful Odoo installations require proper planning and maintenance. Care must be taken in documenting important configuration details and you must always have a business continuity plan in place that focuses on getting your Odoo installation back up and running within an acceptable period of time. While you are learning Odoo and prototyping how you may use Odoo for your business, you may not care much about a clear implementation strategy. However, once you have made the decision to use Odoo for your business, it is important to plan your implementation strategy. Various Odoo instances One of the first considerations you will need to make when contemplating an Odoo installation is how you will configure servers for various Odoo instances that may be required during planning, deployment and final production operations. Development, Staging and Production Servers In addition to a development server and production server, it is often desirable to have an Odoo installation that users can use to train and learn the operations of the system. Sometimes this installation is known as the staging server. This server will typically have all the tested changes and functionality of the live system, but will be loaded with test data and configurations that are useful for training. Each installation will have its own requirements and constraints. What is important is that you make these decisions early on in your Odoo configurations so that you can properly administer the installations all the way from development into production. Clear documentation of all Odoo configurations Once you have decided what Odoo servers you require and how those installations should be configured, it is important that you create a clearly defined method for documenting all the details that go along with the setup. This can be as simple as a text or Microsoft Word document that is in a known place and kept up to date. It can be as complex as using a full-blown project manager. Using cloud organization tools such as Dropbox, Evernote and Google Documents provide you with a lot of options of how you can document your Odoo installations. You need to be aware of how you secure usernames and passwords and have a clear policy on how that information is securely stored. Focusing on business continuity Any business information system is only as good as its ability to recover from something going wrong. Despite having more reliable hardware and software, data can still get corrupted. No amount of planning can prevent a problem from occurring. This is why one of the most important tasks in administering an Odoo installation is making sure that you always have a clear recovery strategy. Important considerations of business continuity. Regularly test your backups for recoverability. Have a strong archive of backups. Perform daily backups along with weekly and monthly snapshots as well. Have contingency system options. Even if you plan on hosting locally, consider having a cloud server configured where you can run your Odoo installation in a pinch. Make sure you know how long it takes to fully recover your Odoo installation and what data would need to be re-entered into the system. Know exactly how much downtime costs your business and plan accordingly. Backing up your Odoo database. It is critical in a production environment that at the minimum you back up both your working Odoo application directories and the associated Postgres databases. If you are running in a hosted Odoo environment where you have been provided a login and password to your database, then you will be provided a specific backup procedure. Make sure you fully understand how it works and have a way to test and make sure that it functions as expected. The easiest way to get to the backup database function is to navigate directly to the database manager. By adding Database Manager to the end of your Odoo URL, you will be taken directly to the Odoo Database Manager. Here you will see all the databases in your Odoo installation with the option to backup, duplicate or delete each of the databases. Clicking the Backup button will bring up a simple wizard that will allow you to backup the database in zip format that will contain all the file stores associated with that database or as a PG dump file. A file store could contain such things as document attachments or pictures associated with your product. The PG dump format is a standard Postgres database operation that will make a backup of the database only without the associated file store. Click the backup button to begin backing up the database. The database will then download through your browser just like any other file you may download off the internet. 
If your database is extremely large, there is a chance that the file may not be easily downloaded. Restoring an Odoo database The ability to back up a database does little good unless you have the ability to restore the database to get up and running again. You can click the Restore Database button to bring up the Restore Database form. Give the file name as Silkworm Restore. Here you specify the master password and choose the file you wish to restore. Once you have the file selected, you will need to specify a new database name to restore the database into it. You also get the option to choose either Backup Restore or Copy of an existing database as the mode for the restoration. As the instructions explain, Odoo will handle the restore slightly differently if you are restoring a database that has been moved rather than copied. Use the appropriate mode for your situation. Nice!